Hi everyone, it's Succulents Box here. Today we're going to discuss how you can properly take care of a very interesting succulent called Portulacaria afra elephant bush. Elephant bush is native to South Africa and might be one of the most fascinating succulents you can find. Under its natural habitat, elephant bush can reach up to 20 feet tall. It has thick reddish brown stems with small glossy green leaves and can bloom clusters of small pink flowers at the end of its branches. The variegated one called rainbow or variegated elephant bush have creamy white stripes on the foliage. Their unique appearance makes it an excellent choice as a standalone specimen or even as part of a succulent garden. When it comes to watering, elephant bush pretty much has the same needs as most succulents have. Since they are very drought tolerant and highly adapted to dry conditions, giving them too much of what they really need will lead their roots to rot. So to prevent drowning your elephant bush, limit your watering regimen to once every week or two weeks or whenever you feel the soil is dry and make sure to give it a good soak whenever you water. The key to determining the right timing to water elephant bush is to wait until its leaves begin to curl up and feel deflated when touched. Once you see these signs, give it a good drink of water and it should start to perk up again in a day or two. If the leaves feel soft and mushy, then hold off on your watering and transfer your elephant bush to a brighter spot to help it dry out quickly. Like any other succulents, Portulacaria afra elephant bush are sun-loving plants. They do well in full to partial sun and need at least five to six hours of exposure daily to flourish. Otherwise, they may develop discolorations such as red or yellow caused by extreme heat or start dropping leaves under less light condition. So if you want to grow your elephant bush outdoors, avoid places where this plant can get excessive sunlight a day. It is best to keep this plant protected from the scorching sun in the afternoon but still get about 6 hours of bright filtered sunlight a day at the same time. When grown indoors, the perfect spot to display your elephant bush is near a sunny window where it can receive the brightest light possible, like a south facing one. As mentioned earlier, elephant bush hates sitting in wet soil for too long. So it's best to use a well-draining one such as a cactus or succulent mix or make your own by mixing 3 cups of sand and 3 cups of soil with 1.5 cups of perlite or pumice to help with aeration. You may also use a pot with good drainage or an unglazed one to aid any excess moisture to evaporate. Elephant bush is not cold hardy and can only tolerate freezing temperatures for a short time. Ideally, the best temperature to grow this plant is between 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit during the daytime and about 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit at night. This succulent will not tolerate temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's best to put the plant in a pot where it can easily be relocated inside. Just make sure to avoid placing it near a heating or air conditioning vent as it tends to get dry. The best time to move them indoor is around late fall, when temperatures get cooler. Make sure you prune them and spray them with neem oil or pesticide three weeks before moving them. This is to make sure they're free of pests and to protect your other indoor plants. Also you might notice when moving indoors your elephant bush will start dropping leaves. This is often caused by sudden changes in temperature so don't wait until it's too cold to bring it inside. But don't be too worried, your elephant bush should recover and grow new leaves within a few weeks. Propagating elephant bush is easy. You can either reproduce them through a leaf or stem cuttings. But since growing them from a leaf takes up too much time, most gardeners prefer to do it through stem cuttings. To start with, simply snip some healthy cuttings from the mother plant using a clean, sharp knife or scissors. Then allow your cuttings to dry out for about two or three days until it develops some callus. Once your cuttings have callus over, Place it in a small pot with well-draining soil and put it in moderately lit spot where the temperature is at least 65 degrees Fahrenheit to always keep the soil moist. After that, you just need to wait for a few weeks for your cuttings to root and you'll have a new elephant bush to share with your friends. Also, it is best to propagate your elephant bush in spring or summer for a higher chance of success. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy and find this video helpful. We'll see you again next time.